Hi guys, today we're going to be learning about fractions and the basics. Today we're going to be learning about the examples like one half, how we um, look at it in a form like in a diagram, one fourth, one eighth, and additional fractions and subtractions. We're not going to go into too much detail today, but I promise you I will get something more in detail tomorrow. So to begin with, we have one half of a chocolate bar. So as you can see... We have one half of a chocolate bar right there. If you want to see that to be measured, it's really simple. If you had a one half of a circle, you normally lay and you normally just half it. It's really simple. Exactly like this, you just half the bar, which is equal to two people. And if it, if you're if you're struggling with one quarter, which I was as well, you can you might be familiar with the word um. Quarter, it means like, I'm not really American, like quarters are like quarter of a dollar. So that's why it's named like that. And so one quarter is four pieces. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, around one, two, three, four, four pieces. So it's equal to four people. But if you had five people, that would be a problem. And I would be explaining that to you tomorrow and if you had one eighth that's kind of like a tricky one so one two three four five so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight so there's eight of them here the larger the, the like the smaller the denominator the larger the pieces so as you can see it's four now it's now four, four is larger, but there are small, smaller pieces. Well, if you look at eight, there's only around this big of a piece, which is not the smallest it can get, but the bigger the number, the smaller the piece. Now we're going to look at addition. So we have here is one fourth plus two fourths. What we keep is the denominators. So the denominators stay the same, but the numerator is like, really simple like one plus two is three so you can just do three there by four which is really simple because if you have the same denominator in each of the um fraction that means you it's a really simple one if you don't have the same denominator i will go into that later um next video now subtraction subtraction is the exact same unless you have a other one here like it's odd, right? So we, so that's a problem. So we need to do a trick called um, the um, X trick. That's what I call it. And so we we do like four times one, one, and then we do three times two, six. I hope that's correct because I'm not really good at it. And also, and if you're still struggling with that, this is what I used to do. Three volts. Subtracted by one fourth. It's really simple. You just subtract the um. If you can see it, you just subtract the um. Three and one, and you just get two. And exactly like before, the denominators are the same, so you keep the denominator here as well. And also, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and he taught something new to you guys. And if you did enjoy it, um, make sure. Uh, I don't really care if you don't like um like or subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next um video.